Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here from Skill Builder. We've got something different this week. We're going to be installing a Nest Cam. Now Nest, who make this camera, have given us some sponsorship to help us make this video, which is very welcome. But we wouldn't be making this video, we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't like the product. We've had a look at it, we think it's an interesting product, and hopefully we're going to find out how easy it is to install it. Now I'm going to be tackling the outdoor installation, which means I'm going to be using an outdoor power supply and everything I do, all the wiring, it's all weatherproof and it's just gonna run up to the camera. Dylan, he's gonna be doing the internal power supply, which means he's gotta drill a hole through the wall, bring the cable through the wall and hook up that way. But either way, I think it's gonna be an easy job. Hopefully he'll do a bit more work than I will, but if you don't think you can tackle this job, Nest do have a team of dedicated installers who are fully trained up, clued up on how to install these things. They can put one, two, three, four cameras up for you, whatever you like. And the great thing is that once you've got this camera up and running, you can talk to the person on the other end. So if somebody turns up at your door and you're lying on a sun lounge or in the Caribbean, lucky you, then you can talk to them, you can say leave it with a neighbour, leave it round the back or deliver it next week when I'm back, all that kind of thing. But obviously you can also keep an eye on burglars, tell them that you've called the police, all that kind of thing. So no, I think it's a great device and I think it's fantastic that you can look at your property from anywhere around the world simply by going to your phone app. Fantastic, the world is shrinking. Okay, so here's the Nest Cam outdoor. Let's see what we've got inside the package, so. Okay, so I've got everything out of the box and laid it out neatly so we can see exactly what we've got. So, if we have a look in the instructions, it tells you what you should have in the box. So there's the camera, which is that. We've got the mounting magnet, which is this. And this is a really nice feature, actually, is that the camera is just magnetically connected to the back of this plate here. It's really strong, as you would expect. You can just move that around, so it's really easy get that into place. Then we've got the camera wall plate, that's on the back of the magnet there. And when you're ready to go, pull this piece of paper out, and then it gets a even stronger magnetic seal there. Uh, we've got the adapter wall plate, and the power adapter, and this is, this is the power adapter, and it connects through a USB socket, so that plugs into there. And everything's really clearly labeled and it just lets you know that you've got to remember to screw the wall plate in before you attach me, this. Okay, so there's our power cord. We've got some wall plugs or some wall anchors as they call them in the instructions. We've got some cable clips for the power cord and clips for this flat USB cable. And we've got the screws here. Look at that, all nicely collected together. And that cardboard there. So we've got everything we need there. There's also a checklist here that says you've got to have Wi-Fi with a connection of at least two megabit upload speed, uh, a phone or tablet with Bluetooth, a Nest account, a power socket and a Phillips screwdriver. But for our installation we're also going to need a drill bit and a ladder. So we're now going to plug it in indoors to set it all up before we do all of the outdoor stuff. So here we are on location. I've got Alex here and we're going to install the Nest Cam outdoor at his house. Um, so Alex, first of all, I've got to ask you, have you had any security problems here? So since we moved in a couple of years ago, one of our cars was scratched down the side and someone's thrown a load of rubbish in the, uh, the front of our house, which obviously none of our neighbours are going to own up to. <laughs> right, OK, so you want to catch them out? Yeah? Yes. So looking at the front of the house here, uh, whereabouts do you think we should put it? I think the ideal location will be where we can cover both the front door and the door to the garage. Yeah. Uh, so ideally somewhere up high, maybe about three metres or so, four metres, yeah. um, which uh, is out of reach uh, for someone to try and steal it, uh, but actually easy for us to maintain it, i.e. close to a window. Ah, you thought of everything. <laughs> I have to say that Nest do have a network of Nest Pro installers that can do the job for you, 
Do you think we're going to need them? I think today uh, we'll give it a try between the two of us. I think we're both competent. <laughs> we're going to do the installation, but first of all, we need to take the camera indoors and make sure it's all working because that's much better done indoors rather than out in the cold. So let's go in now then and set up the camera after you. Thank you. So firstly, you need to plug the camera in. When the light's green, the camera's ready to set up. If you don't already have one, create a Nest account and then verify your email. Set up your Nest home by giving it a name and then add your details. Okay, so now we're going to use the iPhone app to connect the Nest Cam outdoor. The easiest way to do this is with a QR code on the back of the camera. Now we tell the app where the camera's going and make sure you check the placement guidelines. Make sure that everything's working before you put the camera outside. Once we've added the Wi-Fi details, the camera is automatically added to the account. It's important to make sure that your Wi-Fi works outside before you install it, and you might need to use a Wi-Fi booster. Make sure there aren't any electric cables on the area where you want to drill. Once you've got the wall plate fixed, you can attach the mounting magnet. We're going to power this camera from inside the house, so a 20mm hole needs to be drilled to get the power connector through. The camera snaps firmly into place and it's really easily adjusted. And for a nice neat job, make sure you use all of those cable clips. Okay, so I'm back at Alex's now. He's had a bit of time to play with it and get used to all the features. So Alex, how are you getting on with it? Yeah, really well actually. We've found it strangely addictive watching the house when we're at work. Um, but we've been playing with the app um, and the, the website and uh, have been tweaking it to our needs. Excellent, that's good. So uh, I'm always interested to see how good these things are at night because quite often the things that you want to see happen at night. So how did it perform? Actually really well, a lot better than I expected it. Um, most cameras that I've seen previously, it's only kind of the, the center of the vision that's, that's clear but on the Nest outdoor cam, you can see um, a couple of cars driving past in the middle of the night. That was the first night that we had it set up. Um, and after that, actually, we, we found out there's a, a feature called Activity Zones where you can actually specify what part of the picture you want to monitor, which is really useful because you don't want to be notified every time a car drives past your house. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it looks really good. And like you say, it's detailed to the edges rather than just that hot spot in the middle. So that's really good infrared performance. What about the person alert then? Did it do a good job of detecting the difference between, say, a cat and a human being? Yes, we've been notified uh, when the postman turns up each day, as well as some uh, local people delivering flyers for our door. Um, so uh, the person alert definitely works. Excellent. Now, one of the interesting features of this camera, I saw that it had two-way audio, which sounds fun, but I thought maybe it's a bit of a gimmick. So how did you get on with that? We've actually used that once so far. So I only actually work around the corner from home. Um, and we had a, a parcel delivered um, the other day, which um, needed to be signed for. And rather than the, the postman putting a, a little leaflet through the door, I was actually able to, to push the button and talk to him, which kind of startled him a little bit <laughs> as this little chime go off above him and a, a voice um, talking to him to say, like, I'll be home in a couple of minutes. So as I understand it, you get three hours of recording out of the box, is that right? That's correct. Um, you can uh, go back on your timeline by three hours whenever you want, but you can also upgrade to the Nest Aware, which will give you 10 or 30 days worth of, uh, of coverage. So yeah, I can't imagine anybody want more than 30 days. I mean, most people go on holiday for like, a week or two weeks, so, uh, so 30 days should have them covered. Now, just looking through the manual a moment ago, I noticed there's a feature called Home Away Assist. What's that all about? So it's quite a, a clever feature, actually. You can set it to use your mobile phone, 
uh, to monitor whether you're at home or away, as the name suggests. Um, and then so it will start monitoring and sending you notifications when you leave the house. Um, and you can use more than one person's phone to do that. So if one person's in, it won't be sending you a notification every time um, it detects something. But when you're both out of the house, it will actually um, notify you of any activities. Um, and the other good thing about the, the Nest Outdoor Cam is that it records 24 seven. So it doesn't matter if you are at home or away, um, whether you're using the home away assist feature or not, it's always got your back. Uh, yeah, because I know some systems, they, uh, they start recording when the motion has been triggered. So sometimes it may be that it misses the crucial thing. It could be that you see someone running away, but you don't actually see the, the, the crimes, so to speak. Um, excellent, that sounds good. Well, it sounds like you're really enjoying using it anyway, so that's good. And that, that's why I wanted to get you involved in this, because I know that you're a, you're a techie guy and that you'd get the most out of it, and that you'd be running it on your phone and the iPad as well. And Amy's using it as well, isn't she? She's having fun with it. We're, we're definitely the type of people that like to kind of maximize the, the technology uh, within the house, and this is just the, the next level for us. Okay, so now let's see how Roger's getting on with his installation of the Nest Cam Outdoor. Okay, I found what I consider to be a good place to put this, which is out of the way of the direct sunlight, nicely hidden up there, so people won't necessarily know they're being watched. And it's good for the two-way microphone if you want to talk to people that are at the door. The other thing that I think is important is that people that burgle your house very often ring the bell first. They want to check whether anybody's in or not. So they come to the door, they check whether anybody's in, and then with their high-vis jackets on, posing as delivery men, they sneak round the back and take away more than they deliver. So this will give us first indication of who they are and where they are. Nicely tucked away, out of harm's way, out of the weather. I mean, it's weatherproof, but it's nice to have it tucked up there. The only thing I'm gonna have to watch out for is I give it a clean every so often because all the spiders get up here and all the dirt but it's out of the direct sunlight, which is important. You don't want to face it into the direct sunlight because it can't expose properly. All cameras are like that. So as you can see here, we've got a double socket, but if you had a single socket, you could just change it to a double socket very easily or you could put another socket beside it just to dedicate it to your power supply for the camera it's up to you but if as i say you're not sure get a qualified electrician in to do the job so that's the job done it turned out to be a lot easier than i thought actually i really like those little clips i hate little masonry pins those ones you nail in because they never stay in they're always a pain so to be able to drill and screw for me is great and they give you all the bits all the fixings wall plugs and screws so it saves you messing around looking for stuff but i think it's an easy job and uh, i wouldn't mind doing a few more I don't know about you, but we enjoyed doing this little bit of techie stuff. We want to know whether you like it. So give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down. Please subscribe. We're always happy to have subscribers.